Good evening and welcome to Channel Rockaritaville. I'm your hostess, L Rock, and this is take two for the week ahead. So I already did a reading and um, it was a beautiful reading. So we'll see what this one turns out, um, what this one has to say. Uh, but it was kind of funny. So a couple times during the last reading, the phone popped out of its cradle um, and went flying. Well, one of those times I happened to put it back on and it was upside down. So more than half the reading was upside down. So uh, obviously I'm not posting it, but um, I'm excited to see what comes out next. So welcome. And we are doing the week ahead. This is a general reading. Timeless, uh, current energy. What that means is that this reading may not be for everybody. This is um, tapping into a specific energy. Cards are already starting to fall out here. I'm going to put them back in, but let's just see here. Um, we have... I'm just going to go ahead and hold on to them here. Now we can see better. So we have Mugwort, Between Dreams. We have Time, Distill Yourself. Spring Peeper, Evolve Into Your Next Becoming. Wow. And House Mouse, Work Together. Um, so as an FYI, I did a um, unboxing or a, yeah, I guess an unboxing of the Bestiary cards, um, which were kind of a spinoff by the same author that did the, that do the Herbiary cards that I read. And um, the cards, the Herbiary and the Bestiary cards just went together like peanut butter and jelly, like... The cards immediately wanted to combine themselves. And I loved the herbiary cards anyway because of their animal influence already. So having the two decks together by the same author um, is really, they tell beautiful stories. So um, here's what that looks like. So this is a bestiary card. And then here's one of the herbiary cards. That was one of the cards that came out in the last reading. Um, as was that. So, um, yeah, a few of the same and appreciate the process, cow and bull, um, are the bottom of the deck. So we'll set those down. And we have the chakra cards here. Um, and we're going to find out a little bit more what we have for the week ahead. What guidance do we have for the week ahead for Rocker Ritaville viewers? Week ahead. Guidance for the week ahead, please. for the week ahead for Rockaritaville viewers, please. Guidance for the week ahead. They were really talkative earlier, now they're shy. <laughs> Guidance for the week ahead. There's one. Oh! This was, um, this came out in the last reading, Inner Child, Heart Chakra. Week ahead, please, for Rockaritaville viewers. Week ahead, guidance for the week ahead, please. Mm, that was the bottom of the deck. Truth, number 23, five, which is, um, so five is symbolic of change. So if you add the two plus the three, that equals five. That was at the bottom of the deck on the last reading. Guidance for Rockaritaville 
viewers for the week ahead. Timeless general, please. There we go. Dreams. Oh, that's beautiful. That came right below between dreams. So somebody's digging into their dreams and their goals um, and who they're becoming in the course of the next week and digging into conversations and the heart of their inner child um, for those dreams. Oh, all right. <clears throat> and then finally, a spiritual awakening. Um, somebody's crown, and I also want to say third eye is being activated right now. Um, these are the higher chakras, so um, this kind of silver around. Um, you have the seven core chakras, and then you have additional chakras above in your auric field above your head. And um, so two plus nine is 11. So 11 is instant manifestation. And oh, bottom of the deck play. So you're being asked to really be in your heart chakra this week. Um, in regards to, let's start here first. So being between dreams, be your next becoming. So distill yourself is going to be an aspect of your spiritual awakening. And to do that, you're going to dig into the heart area of your inner child this week to to uncover those aspects of yourself that are meaningful that lead to the center of this labyrinth. The labyrinth um, has all the different roads that you can take, but only one gets you to the heart of the center. And um, your inner child, um, one of the things that we as adults let go of is the fact that we came in fully loaded and coded and that we already have everything that we need inside of ourselves and we knew it back in our most innocent state as children. And so um, with that, you're really kind of being asked to dig into this aspect of yourself and that's probably potentially kind of a scary place to go because as adults we think it we know it all and yet our our inner child comes from that heart space um where where we blossom from within um it's our inner truth and knowing and um it looks here like scales are being balanced um between fire and water um emotion and passion and you've got dreams that come from the heart of this child that are that are waiting to be made manifest and right now you are in between those dreams so you're in that space between no longer and not yet and this week you're being asked to distill what those dreams are so that you can bring them into creation for yourself so with the peeper, the spring peeper frog, um, it says evolve into your next becoming. And one of the things that the frog talks about is, um, you know, that it begins as an egg and then it becomes a tadpole and then it grows legs and then it comes out of the water and it goes on land, right? And so what you're being called here is to understand in this process between dreams, where exactly you are. So are you at the tadpole stage? Have you grown your legs? Are you ready to come out of the water? Whatever aspect you are in terms of being between dreams, um, you're going to want to spend time in meditation to think about um, what it is that your next becoming is. Um, you are being asked to evolve and um, that you are going to be given the opportunity with House Mouse um, to privately work together with um, potentially one person or a um, team of people, maybe on the job, 
maybe um, maybe around your household with the holidays coming up, um, family, you'll need to be working together for that. Um, and so as you do this, um, evolve into your next becoming, you're going to need the support of other people in your life. And um, so with that, you are being asked to work together. Is that, it does, I don't think it matters with the, I don't read them in order anyway. So um, your communication and your guidance is incoming. And um, you're being called into um, maybe some quiet time with daydreaming. Um, maybe dreams and answers, um, I'm sorry, maybe answers are coming to you in the dream state. Um, I'm really drawn to just, you know, all of these kind of shooting stars here, um, but they're not. Have you ever seen the movie um, Lucy? And there's a scene where she's in a car and she's trying to, she's tuning into the communication optics and she can, she literally tunes in to a single optic in the movie where she can hear a, a cell phone conversation. And that's what's happening here. You've got incoming guidance. You've got ideas. Um, because so many cards came out from the last reading. The last reading had creativity in it. Um, and I think that the creativity is probably coming through your dream space. But whatever it is, you are receiving clear guidance and it's going to be up to you to follow it. Um, you know, you do have a spiritual awakening happening about your forthcoming dreams. Um, it may be coming to you in the dream space or in a meditation, in a meditative space. And it's the heart of your child leading you to your ultimate truth. And um, we, again, we've got um, blue here, which is the throat chakra. So you're going to be speaking your truth probably. Um, and then um, the dream space, it's the color purple, um, which is the third eye and then violet or pure white violet light is indicative of the crown chakra. So you've got a lot of activity happening this week that's on the in, that's in the internal space in regards to where it is you're going and what you're becoming. So, this week, um, you're kind of in between dreams, you're in that steady state, you're distilling yourself, you're beginning to understand who it is you are, you're allowing space for your inner child to come in and speak her truth or his truth um, and do it from the heart space. I'm really kind of drawn to this. It looks to me like a butterfly there, um, but an unfolding and a becoming and, you know, before the butterfly um, becomes the butterfly it is in a cocoon and um, so you're just in this space where you really get a chance to live in your mind space for a little bit and proactively dream about what it is you want to bring into your life um, in terms of what's on the bottom of the deck we have cow and bull and um, cow and bull speaks to um, ancient times and um, this also speaks to the energy behind it is appreciating the process. So you might perhaps be spending time alone over the next week. Um, or even if you're not spending time alone, perhaps what you're doing proactively is leading you towards your next dream. So if you're, um, if, if you're at a project at work next week and... Um, I can really kind of relate to the in-between dreams um, and give you a more solid example kind of from my experience is um, cur um, my company just went through a huge reorg. Um, everybody has new names. Everybody's feeling a little unsure of where they fit in. And even though, um, you know, all of the jobs that were going away have gone away and all the ones that are staying have stayed, there's still this sense of uncertainty and trying to understand really what the new vision is and where people fit into it. And I feel like that that's the energy around the Between Dreams cards. It may not necessarily be job related. Perhaps it's a new relationship. Um, maybe you recently went through some kind of an ending 
and you're looking at that new beginning, whether you left a job and you're moving into your new one and you're not fully, fully, you know, in it yet. Um, perhaps you've left an old relationship and now you're ready for a new one. Um, it could be anything like that, but whatever it is that's happening this week, um, you know, it's, it's coming from the ethers, your communication and understanding your truth and how you want to communicate that, that is going to be really important and really, you know, taking on the, the cow and bull spirit of appreciating the process, staying in the now, um, being present in your story you are the lead character of the story of your life are you writing a great one or you know are you writing are you just a character in somebody else's story and not that that's you know not that that's not okay but it's your life and um appreciating the process of where you are in the now um opens those doors for you for everything that you want to make manifest in your life. On the bottom of the chakra deck, we've got the two dolphins, which is play. So maybe you've got a friendship or a friend coming in to spend some time with you. Um, being in your playful child's heart is what helps bring forward that creativity to make those dreams, polish them into what you want them to be. Um, to fill into the vibrational frequency of your dreams and go, yeah, that feels pretty good, but not quite right. So it's this or something better. When you're naming your dreams and you're trying to bring them into creation and in your life, call it out, name it, and then name something better after it. So if you're trying to bring a new vehicle into your life and you want... I don't know. I don't know much about cars. Uh, let's just go for an obvious, like a BMW, right? Um, BMW or something better. Maybe you go out and you start looking and you find a lease on an Alfa Romeo for $300 less a month, right? So whatever it is, be in the playful space, be in the creativity of it all. Um, Creativity is not a card that came out in this reading, but it was really huge in the last one. So let me just find it because it's still coming through as um, a message for you. Where are you, creativity? Here it is. So creativity coming out of the shadow um, you know, bring, coming into the light, really just, you know, that space between, like I said, that space between no longer and not yet is the creative space. Um, personal power also came out in the last one. So I just pulled it out of the deck for you to take a peek at. <coughs> Excuse me. But creativity is going to play a really big part in you building these dreams, the spiritual awakening of, awakening of what it is you truly want to bring into your life, and that you're spending time this week working in collaboration with people to evolve into what it is that you're going that you're evolving into, and you're distilling yourself, and you're taking the time, and you're doing the internal work, and you're taking all of the different paths to understand how to come to that balanced center in yourself. You're accepting that space between, you know, no longer and not yet. And you're spending time and creativity doing it. You're spending time with your inner child. You're balancing the truth of your emotions and your passion. And this is coming through the dream space or the meditative space through your higher chakras, your crown chakra, your, your, um, third eye chakra, um, and you're also playing and um, appreciating the process. So you have a beautiful week ahead, um, you know, if you choose to kind of step into these energies um, and see what they do for you. Uh, next, I'm going to clarify um, with the charms. So please clarify the cards for guidance for the week ahead. Guidance for the week ahead. 
So cute, funny story, you guys. Um, I've been having a lot of just activity um, in the house um, with things going missing or showing up. And this little scorpion ring. Um, yesterday, um, I came up from getting a cup of coffee and it was sitting on the corner of my chair um, and it wasn't there when I went to go get the coffee. So I felt it in my hand and wanted to tell you the story. It was pretty cute. Um, but some fun, interesting, energetic things have been happening that um, kind of amuse me. So fun stuff. Anyway, clar clarifiers for guidance for the week ahead, please. Okay, so let's see if we can look at that a little bit better. So um, when they land on the outside um, in the white area here, it's an outside influencing energy. And when it lands directly on the card, um, it is a directly related energy. So let's see what we have here. So I'm kind of... I'm drawn by the boomerang that's overlapping truth and dreams. And of course the boomerang is when you send something out, it returns to you. And, um, you know, this is really talking to me about, you know, the truth that you're speaking, um, is part of your dreams. And by sending that out, the universe rallies to bring back what it is you're creating for yourself. So you're going to have a boomerang effect. So as you're doing your work this week, um, really taking in what your dreams are, what your truths are, and working towards those, the universe, um, we had the, where was it this reading? We had the number 11 come up and 11 is instant manif manifestation. And so everything that you're thinking and everything that you're putting effort into is, um, manifesting instantly so if you're running late and and you're thinking about being late you're going to hit every light on red it's a boomerang effect it's instant manifestation and it has to do with your truth and your dreams um so that's the boomerang um in terms of your dreams um this is a symbol of marriage and commitment to me um kind of like tying the knot or um you know, a hand fast or something along those lines. So maybe you have dreams of a deeper commitment with somebody. Um, that you've been intertwined in each other's lives, um, that you're separate and um, looking to become one, perhaps. Um, we have the turtle here. Um, the turtle is... Symb symbolic of good luck and moving forward. The turtle cannot swim in reverse. It can only move forward. So um, you're moving forward with something. There's a lot of water here. We have this fish. So maybe there's a Pisces involved or a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Um, but there's a lot of water here. So there might be, um, perhaps there has been an imbalance um, in the emotional state. And um, over here, when you're speaking your truth, these scales show a balance between the two. Um, the water and the fire, the emotion and the passion. So um, next up, we have a feather and that kind of fell down in between. You're probably going to be, um, you probably have some guides in your dreams and angelic guides um, you know, whatever it is you subscribe to, um, if you're Catholic, perhaps saints, um, if you're Christian, Yeshua, Jesus, um, you know, whatever it is, you've got guidance here through your dream space during your spiritual awakening. Um, down here um, under awakening, we've got, you might be doing some traveling as well, um, waking up on in some travels. Um, we've got the continents here, I'm trying to see if I can figure out which continents they are. I think they're
Oh, there we go. <laughs> there it is. It's the, uh, the Americas, it looks like. Oh, no. Europe and Africa? Europe and Africa. Okay, that won't focus, but... Um, spiritual awakening there. Um, we have a heart, um, that's kind of been pieced together. So, um, this is the filling and the renewal of your heart. Um, perhaps it's recently been broken and, um, you're needing to go within and remember all of the things about yourself that are lovable and that make you lovable. You have a key here, so you've got all of the answers to your spiritual awakening. It's part of your dreams, it's part of your inner child, and it's part of your truth. You have the key to do everything that you need to do here. We have Tokyo, and um, it was pointing in this direction. So as I just kind of gave you the breakdown in regards to your spiritual awakening and following your dreams... Um, that your inner child and your truth are all a part of that. So that just kind of reiterates pointing that direction. Um, also, perhaps you're from Tokyo or Japan or going there soon. Um, next up, we've got a heart. So there's really some heart healing here um, with your spiritual awakening. There's coming to realizations about who you are and what matters to you the most um, that are waking up inside of you. Um, let's see here. So over here on Inner Child, um, we just have um, a crystal. And then above her crown, we have the sun. So um, you're going to have illumination and um, really just... I'm getting crystal clear clarity about what it is that you truly want when you can tap into your inner child and when you can tap in and accept what it is you truly want with crystal clear clarity and begin to speak that out loud as your truth, it brings you supreme happiness with the sun. Um, up here in the um, spring, what is it? The spring peeper, the frog, you cannot simultaneously prevent and prepare for war, Albert Einstein. So finding that peace within yourself and bringing that to the outside world. Um, we have the monkey. Um, I really feel like the monkey's kind of going back to the play. This can have multiple meetings, but um, in regards to the bottom of the deck and the play card, um, you know, monkeys and community and um, really just that playfulness, that adventurousness, the silliness um, is really what I get off of that. So while that fell on the spring peeper card, I think part of your next becoming is remembering how to play, remembering you have a sense of humor and to tap into those aspects of yourself as part of your spiritual awakening and whatever healing that you're doing this week to take you into your next dream. Um, oh, look, we had the bananas show up with the monkey. That's so kind of cute, actually. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so feed your monkey, feed your spirit. Um, you know, the fruit of your life, bring that forward. You are evolving into your next becoming, and it's a peaceful becoming. You are not preparing for war. You're preparing for peace because you're leaving war in the past. War is not your new normal. Um, you are preparing for peace. We have half of the infinity symbol here. Um, this is a, if you've watched, uh-oh, previous, oh gosh, I can't see where that went. If you've watched previous videos, the infinity symbol is um, half of a broken ring. And I talk about how in relationship, no matter what it is, um, personal, romantic, friendship, we oftentimes look outside of ourselves um, for validation. And what half of the infinity symbol implies is that there is nothing missing, that you are a whole in and of yourself. And when two halves of the infinity symbol join, that it's consistent flow. Um, we have here a, um, this is a pin from Costa Rica. Um, Costa Rica's, um, oh, their country motto is Pura Vida, um, which is the pure life. 
Um, and so um, whatever it is in your next becoming, um, you're getting the things out that no longer work for you. Um, we have another just charm here. Um, just more blue, um, speaking your truth. Under distill yourself, we have tink here. Um, just having a good time. This again speaks back to the playfulness and the magic that's coming in for you. Uh, we have undistill yourself. A charm it just looks like pink coral to me. So um, pink just being indicative of softness and, and being open hearted with yourself. And then um, we also have a pink flower here. So um, this is here. This used to be, um, are you going to, can you focus? Thank you. Wait, there we go. So there it is. So you can see how a, another flower used to be a part of this particular flower and it's no longer there. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> and it's no longer there. I feel like this is indicative of a breakup um, that has you between dreams. Now, this isn't necessarily a romantic breakup. It could also be a friendship where um, just there's bit, there's some space or some reinvention of that relationship happening. Down on creativity, we have Vegas Certified 2006, so 2 plus 6 is 8. Um, 8 is um, the life path of money. So um, perhaps you are seeing the star here. Perhaps you're headed to Vegas. Um, oh, maybe... Maybe you're in between dreams and you're going to go to Vegas to get married. <laughs> Who knows? Um, but whatever it is, um, Vegas or maybe the desert, desert Southwest, um, is coming up in regards to your create creativity. Um, on the outline energies, um, there's something high value for you that's outlined um, to the left of your creativity. And um, there's also a cheetah here who is um, also seems to have a playfulness about him. Um, kind of has his paw up like he's batting at something, um, passing by. So that's an outline energy. That's a cat energy. We had a lot of cat energy show up in the reading where, um, where the phone kept bouncing off of its cradle. So... Um, you know, this is indicative of somebody who's super independent and, um, yet, you know, also playful and wants to be a part of things. So over the week ahead, you've got, um, a lot happening in terms of your creativity.